Welcome to EE206, Circuits 1, Lecture Number 8, Superloops. Now, superloops are an extension of current loops. Current loops allow you to solve for n equations and n unknowns where the unknowns are current loops. You do that by summing the voltages to zero around each loop. Sometimes you can't do that. If I have a current source, I have no idea what the voltage is. The voltage is whatever it takes to set the current and whatever it takes doesn't help in writing your loop equations. In that case, you do a generalized loop. Uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the sum of the voltages around any closed path must sum to zero. So rather than just choosing a path that only goes around one loop, go around multiple loops. That's called a super loop. And there's usually multiple ways to do that. For example, suppose I had this circuit. I've got four loops. I want to write four equations for four unknowns. Three of the equations are pretty easy. Start with the current source. This just says that I1 minus I3 equals 6. Now go around loop I2. Minus 12 plus 2I2 plus 10 I2 minus I3 equals 0. Uh, skip I3, I4. Uh, 12 I4 minus I3 plus 8 I4 minus I1 plus 14 I4 equals 0. Now I'm stuck. I need a fourth equation. I can't write the loop equation around I3 because I don't know this voltage. I can't write the loop equation around I1 because again I don't know this voltage. I need a fourth equation though. The trick is a super loop. Do any closed path that doesn't include that current source. In addition, if we go back to the previous four equations, it helps to use the highlighter. For example, if it's a highlighter, that first equation says I3 minus I1 is 6, so that one's taken care of. I've got minus 12 volts plus 2I2 plus I2I minus I3. Uh, third equation includes the 12, which is missing, the 8, and the 14. All these elements are accounted for. Nobody's accounted for that 4 ohm resistor yet. That does affect the circuit, so I need a fourth equation that includes that 4 ohm resistor. So one option is the super loop. I'll go around this path and sum those voltages to zero. That equation would be 10 I3 minus I2 plus 4 I1 plus 14 I4 and then back where I started equals zero. And note that super loops, there are multiple solutions. I could also choose this as my super loop. 10 I3 minus I2 plus 4 I1 plus 8 I4 minus I1 plus 12 I4 minus I3, and then back where I started equals zero. Multiple ways of doing it. I need a fourth equation though. Once you get your fourth equation, I can now write four equations for four unknowns. Group the terms, throw it into MATLAB, and solve. So what I should get is 3.5 amps, minus 1 amp, minus 2 amps, and negative 0.01 amp. And note, negative current is not a problem. It just means I assume the current is clockwise, it's actually counterclockwise. Uh, note that some superloops do not work. If I take this path, again, this is a closed path, I'm going to start from here, go up, down, over, down, up, over, back, I'm back where I started. That looks like a valid uh, superloop. It doesn't work though. If I take this loop equation, throw it in MATLAB and solve, I get an error. Here the math is trying to tell you something. The challenge is trying to figure out what the math is trying to tell you. What it's telling me is that I do not have four independent equations. This equation right here is actually loop I2 plus loop I4 added together. If I take the same equation and write it down a second time, I don't get more information. It's just a redundant equation. The problem is singular tells me that I just have a redundant equation. I need a fourth equation. It's also telling me that this forum resistor was never in your equations. Uh, my equations are not complete. So if you ever get this error in MATLAB, that means the super loop that you chose is not independent. If I have a dependent source, again, nothing really changes. Here I've got a dependent source. I need four equations for four unknowns plus one equation for the dependent source. The steps, just like before, are to find the currents, I1 through I4, 
determine how many equations I need. I need four loops plus a dependent source. I need five equations. Now start writing them. First equation is, uh, here's Vx. Vx is 12i3 minus i4. This guy right here, 6vx is i1 minus i3. I go around loop i2, that's third equation. Around loop i4, fourth equation. And now we need a fifth equation. Again, a super loop. Here I chose this super loop. 10 i3 minus i2 plus 4 i1 plus 14 i4. I'm back where I started, equals zero. Gives me five equations, five unknowns. Again, group the terms, put in matrix form, and solve. And those are my currents. One last note, and then we'll call this video quit. The matrix, the way this matrix corresponds to these equations, each column, first column is times i1, second column is times i2. So what I like doing is putting a note to myself, i1, i2, i3, i4, vx for the columns. And then this first equation is there is no i1, there is no i2. I've got 12 i3, minus 12 i4, minus 1 vx is 0. Second equation i1 minus 1 i3 minus 6 vx, the last term, equals 0, and so on. So that's lecture number 8, superloops for E206, circuits 1.